In this video we will take a look at how you can make a tornado in Gro using particles and specifically particle trails. So I wanted to try out particle trails, so I decided to make a tornado. The regular way of making tornadoes would probably be to make a custom mesh and make a shader that has a texture that spins on it. But using particle trails also gives a cool effect. So this effect is made up with three parts. First, the actual tornado. Second, the ground effect, and third, the ember or dust particles. Combined, they all give a nice effect. Source code for this project is down in the description, and if you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's dive in. So let's start with the tornado. I'm gonna make this a 3D scene, and I'm gonna hit this plus button or control A, and searching for GPU, and I want to add the GPU particles 3D. You will see this warning here, and that means that we need to add a draw pass and a particle process material. We will start with the draw pass. So on pass one, what we want is the ribbon trail mesh. Open a ribbon trail mesh up and on the shape. I like making it flat but we can show it as cross later as well. Let's make a curve for it and make a new curve and open a curve up. I like doing it like this where one at the top and two at the bottom. Select the points and then you can curve them to make them more smooth. I'm gonna move them in as well. I'm gonna move this down and I realize I only need 0.5 so I'm gonna reduce that to 0.5. Next, close that down and go to the material and make a new standard material 3D. Open it up and let's start with the transparency and you want to disable color mode. That will make us be able to see the entire shape. Next we can go to the vertex color and I'm gonna drag this out so we can see all that it's saying. So enable use as albedo, this will allow us to change the color of this material in the particle process material later. So enable that, go into billboard and enable particle billboard and enable keep scale. You also want to enable proximity fade because when it's touching some edges later, instead of being a rough cutoff, it will fade smoothly between the edges. I like setting this to something like two. And we also want to enable use particle trails Otherwise the trails won't work. Now we're pretty much done with the draw pass, so we can close this down for now. Make a new particle process material in the process material. Go to the spawn and on position make the emission shape a ring. This works perfectly since a tornado is a ring spinning, right? We can also, right now it's looking a little bit annoying with the shapes, so we can go into the trails and enable them and that will just make them look a little bit nicer for now. Let's go down to the gravity, and that's under acceleration and gravity. And let's make this positive, since tornadoes don't go down in the ground, they go up, and it's already starting to look a lot better. We also want tangential axle, something like five, works well. This basically makes it rotate around the shape, right? Now we go into the display, and this is the part I talked about earlier that allows us to change the scale and color of it. I like changing the color curve and making a new color ramp. Open up the color ramp and I'm gonna put in some colors that works well. Something like this, I'm gonna move the points and make a new point. I like ending with a fully transparent one because that makes them fade out at the end, as you can see. Wait, I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, if you move this point closer, you will see less fading out and moving it further away, more fading out. I basically like doing this to all my particle effects. I'm also gonna change the emission curve and make a new curve for that as well. And then a new curve, open the curve up, and I'm gonna increase it to something like two, make a new point, and we only need one point for this. And the more you increase this, the more emission it will have but I feel like two is okay for this. Now we're pretty much done with the actual process material. So we can close this down, go into the drawing, and for a tornado, you will likely move it. And when you move it without enabling local chords, it looks something like this. So I'm gonna enable that. It will move with everything. Go into the time, and I'm gonna change the time to something like two for the trails. Increase the speed to make them go a little bit faster. 1.5 works well. And I always like setting randomness to 1. And then what's left is basically just increasing the amount to something that looks good. 
so something like 200 works okay and i wanted to go back on the um, draw pass and on the shape for the draw pass instead of having it cross you see there's this line in them and it doesn't look that good but you can just change it to flat i also want to show with a purple color and that looks pretty cool you can also add more points to this if you want it to um, have more colors in between i will rename this to the twist one I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna quickly show how I made other parts even though they aren't as complicated. So this can be the ember and basically what I did with this is making it less. So this could be something like 20 on the draw pass, make it unique recursively. This will make everything that's a child of the draw pass also unique. So make it unique recursively and okay. And then we wanna go into the material and render priority, set this to one. This will make it in front of the other one, but we can't actually see it right now. So go into the process material. You also wanna make this unique recursively and open it up and display and color curves. We wanna change the emission curve and this one could be 10. And now if we increase this, it might not be that visible, but you can see when we decrease it, there's some that are brighter and some that are darker, right? You can also mess with the curve to make the shape a little bit different. Maybe something like this. Lastly, I want to show you the quick groundwork I did. So I'm going to duplicate the twist again, rename it to ground, decrease the amount to something like 100. And on the process material, make this unique recursively as well. Open it up and on the accelerators and gravity, decrease it to something like one since we want it to stay at the ground. I want to make my draw pass behind the other things. So I'm going to open up the draw passes and make this unique recursively as well. Open up the material and make it minus one. That will make it behind the other ones. Since the twist is at layer zero, ember at one and ground at minus one. And then what you can do is on the time, make this a little bit shorter to make them more close to it. Maybe something like 0.3. And that's pretty much it. I'm also going to go into the twist because another effect I like doing, other than just making the color more transparent at the top, I also like changing the scale to make it smaller at the end. So make a new curve for the scale, open it up and drag the last point down and then curve it to go up. I think it's too drastic right now, so I'm gonna add another point, keep it right here, and then curve this one, something smooth like that. And that can look really good as well. We can see the effect with local chords enabled, then I can show it off without local chords. So I'm gonna disable local chords for all of them. And now you see how it's moving a lot differently, but this can also work. It gives a different effect, right? And that's basically what I wanted to share on the trail uh, tornado that I made and I'll also link a couple other tornado tutorials that you might find helpful. Thanks for watching, if you want to support my work check out my ko-fi in the description and I'll see you in the next one.